Hello everybody and today I'm gonna show you this guy which trusts me almost six times in a row and now I think I've won two times in a row on him I think on yesterday I mean I mean yesterday yesterday or something anyways this starts with e4 I go d5 if he takes I'm gonna go modern variation Scandinavian he takes I go knight to f6 he goes pawn to c4 now there is a line here that is pawn to c6 which attacks this pawn right over here he cannot push because he will get taken with the pawn or with the queen or i don't know anyways i go c6 he goes and takes the pawn i go and develop my knight now i have these two pieces developed he, he goes pawn to b3 i go pawn to e5 he goes pawn to g3 i go bishop to c5 he goes bishop to g2 developing his bishop now i have this one two three pieces developed well he has only one even though he has this open queen he cannot go here and here because of the knight anyways i go bishop to d7 he goes knight e2 i go queen to e7 he goes bishop to b2 try to develop his bishop with this powerful powerful diagonal i go and castle he goes pawn to d4 attacking my bishop and my pawn i can go back over here or here this is better because i can take with this active bishop here attacking this and now if he takes i'm gonna take back but i didn't do that now wait can he take wait can he take wait he cannot take because he would need to take with the knight not with the queen or else he will blunder and also he cannot move his knight because of the pin to the king because of the queen anyways that didn't happen i go pawn to d4 he goes king and castles i go e5 with a queen he goes pawn to f4 i go queen to e3 breaching in his territory right here he goes and goes to h1 i go bishop to g4 now i have two pieces literally devouring his territory and you know turning it into shreds or something he goes rook to e1 i go rook to e8 now i'm gonna try this make to make this rook active now he goes knight to d2 blocking his queen i go pawn to d3 attacking this knight now i'm completely win winning here because it's minus 6.4 he goes knight to d4 escaping the knight wait can i just take wait no i can't my queen is attacked i can take over here but he, i'm gonna get taken although i can take him which makes me okay because if he were to take like boom 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 okay now i have more material than him except instead i did not did this i took the rook which i don't know he goes and takes my queen i go take his queen now we're equal now he goes and i take the knight on d4 he goes and takes the pawn on b7 and now he has one piece breaching in when i have three trying to you know explode his territory he goes i go rook to e7 try to trade he takes i take with the knight he goes bishop back to e4 i go knight to f6 he goes and takes the pawn that i just blundered i go knight to f3 he can take but i'll have this check which he did take and now it's mate and this is mate because if he takes and takes this is mate because of this and it's checked so it's not you know i don't know anyways this is a very cool game because of the fact that the I'm using every piece in my territory right here to put it in my uh, his other territory and then I attack the knight I go here boom boom and then I just came in and blew up the whole thing with knight to d4 he goes and bishop to b7 I go rook to e8 breaking in he goes he goes there I go here and then he falls for the trap which leads to checkmate anyways in the next game it starts with e4 by me e4 by me anyways he goes e5 i go knight to c3 he goes g6 i don't know what that is now he can say i'm gonna go here next 
which he did and I did is e5 try to take control of this square by the way the correct line here is knight to f3 not pawn to e5 which I did not do because I don't know I literally wait how many seconds did I oh because I literally think for one second and played e5 for no reason anyways I go knight to f3 try to protect the pawn he goes pawn to d6 I go pawn to d4, he takes, I take with a knight because if I were to take with a pawn, he goes and takes my queen, but I can take with a knight but that just undeveloped and taking with a king is not good because that would make, have me not the ability to castle or something. Anyways, I, t I took with a knight and I took the other knight so without, to damage his pawn structure but he has this file now which is not looking good for me. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I go bishop to f4 now. Now I have two pieces active. He has one piece only active. He goes and bishops. He goes bishops. He goes bishop to d4. I go queen to d2. He goes knight to e7. E7. I go rook to d1. Try to take this and also breach in. He goes and defends it. I go bishop to e3, he goes bishop to g4. By the way, look at the position. Uh, white is literally winning, it, as it says on the elo bar, even though the pieces are literally, you know, killing my territory or something. Anyways, by the way, maybe I can just trade. If I, he takes, I take. He takes and boom. There we go. Wait, I didn't take. Why didn't I take? Oh, because it's attacking my rope. Anyways, bishop to e2, blocking that. Anyways, he takes. I take. He goes knight to f4, f5, defending this. I took. He takes. I go knight. What the heck is that move, bro? He can literally take them away. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Did he take though? No, he didn't take. And now white is winning? Yo, literally the elo bar became a roller coaster when he played pawn to g5. Wow. And now I can take this. I can go here, check him and take this. What did I do? I took the knight. Because I don't know. He will take my knight now. And this is still possible. Keep in mind that it's still possible. He goes and queens. He goes queen to e7. Now it's not possible. He goes and takes my knight. I go take his queen. I go here. He goes. I go and take the pawn on c3. He goes and goes rook to e8. Try to explode my territory here, but I did not fall for that. Instead, I go queen to f2, which I did not do. Queen f to f3. I mean, anyways, he goes pawn to f5. I go pawn to h3, he goes rook to g8, I go rook to e1, he goes king to f6, I go pawn to g4, he takes, I take, and now he has rook to h8, which I don't know what the heck is that move, maybe to forward his pawn more, which he did. Anyways, I go pawn to, I mean, I go king to g3, okay, I go and check, because if I didn't, he would have this possibility, although I would take. But he will breach in here, my territory. Anyways, I would go and check him instead and take the pawn. And why didn't he take the pawn? I don't know. Anyways, he goes in rook to h5. Now it's a mate in 8. Wait, how? why is it mate in 8? Wait a second. I think it's this. Boom. And then he has two squares. Boom. And then boom. And then king to h8. And then boom, boom, boom. Oh wait, I can take. Hmm. Wait, what is? Where is checkmate? Actually, I can't find checkmate. Is this this one? No, it's not checkmate. At that. Anyways, I'm gonna go over here. Maybe here. Okay, this is. Okay, that's not mate. Okay, it's king. Okay, it's king. I wait. I mean, I can take. And then go here. Like, yeah. Like, if he does nothing, like, go here. Mate in 1. Wait, is that mate in 1? No, it's not mate in 1, it's mate in 4. Anyways, I'm gonna go here, maybe. Wait, why can't I spot the check, bro? 
Uh, bear? Oh wow, I didn't even see that. Why? Why? Okay, anyways, moving on. I go king to g4, he goes rook to h5, I go rook to f6, and he goes king to h7. Now I have these rooks now. Okay, I took the rook. He, I go and check him. He goes rook to g7. I traded. I go rook to h3. There's nothing he can do for that pawn right now. I can then rook to d7. Check. I go king to f6. I mean g6. I go rook to a7. He goes pawn to c4. I go king to f6. And then boom, 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 boom. And then checkmate. Wait, I didn't. Wait. Oh, it's his move. Never mind. I go king to d6. He goes king to e6. I mean e8. I go here, here. Boom. And then it's checkmate because of the fact that th that this king is this pawn and the king is controlling these squares. Well, these this rook is controlling these squares, which is literally infuriating because of the pawn and also the king and also the rook. Yeah, I think that's the last game. Uh, and also, it's literally uh, very late, and I'm gonna stream after, you know, recording this, so, yeah. Anyway, see you guys in the next video. Bye. And also, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and like to make me more videos like this, and yeah, that's it. Um, bye.